Hello! Welcome to Art Town with Lori. So happy that you're here. We are now in August. And I'm super excited about our summer August project. It's called the Summer Alien. Yes, we're going to create some fun looking aliens on a beautiful, gorgeous beach landscape. Awesome! Now kids, if at any time you need help, go ahead, put pause, I'll be here waiting for you, and go and ask a grown-up to come and help you. Now, the list of materials will be in our description box below, along with the links letting you know where you can get your art supplies. All right, kids, let's go over the list of materials and get started on our art project. All right, kids, before we get started with our summer alien art project, let's go over the list of materials that you'll be needing to complete this art project. So you're gonna need a towel or a paper towel. You're gonna need a sponge, a square little sponge, a spatula, a mixed media art paper. It could be a size nine by 12 or seven by 10. You're going to need a water cup or water bottle and paint brushes. The following paint brushes you'll be needing is your flat wash brush, the round number four brush. You'll also be needing the number six flat brush and your liner brush number 10 and your angular brush, number one fourth. You'll also need a painter's palette and the following colors for this art project that we are going to be using is violet, red, brown, a little bit of black, yellow, green, blue, white, and turquoise. All right, kids, let's get started with our art project, yes! So let's get started. We are going to first grab our sponge and what we're going to do, we're going to have a little fun here. We are going to grab our white, dip our sponge into our white paint and we're going to just add little creases. Don't grab all of, all of your white paint, just a little, and we're going to paint the sky. So. We're going to grab our blue because we're going to blend in our colors. So we're only going to do the top part. So go ahead and with your sponge blend in the sky and spread your paint across. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Love it. So I want my sky to end right around here, okay? So go ahead, grab your white, and let's just keep going. Nice. And we have a beautiful blue sky. little bit more white and as you can see it really gives it a nice like smooth look you can get a dab of blue and just go over it back and forth and just blend in that color look at that kids we have a beautiful Sky. So now what we're going to do next is we are definitely going to use our sponge again, dip it into some turquoise, beautiful turquoise color, and now we're going to create the ocean. <laughs> and just kind of flip it over, go back and forth and pull the paint. Beautiful. And so where we want our turquoise to end, 
will be right here and the rest is going to be sand. So go ahead and fill this up. sure that you fill in the areas where it doesn't have turquoise just kind of keep sliding it and if you want to give it a little tap go right ahead but for this particular project I am just gonna go across now what I'm gonna do is just grab a little bit white and now what you're gonna do you're adding just a little white and then you're gonna blend it in with your sponge Blend it in with your sponge. And making sure that I'm adding it to the surface of the beach and blending it in. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. We're going to add little streaks to it later on, but we can go ahead and add a little bit more white and get a little bit of turquoise. Blend it. Get a little white and my little turquoise. So we're going to put our sponge aside for just a moment. We're going to add um, the waves at the shore. And we're just going to put it aside. And now we're going to add the sand. But before we do that, we need to make the sand. So we have a little brown here. I'm going to go ahead and put my brown here in this little empty area. Grab some white. It's OK if there's blue. Brown will really take over it. So now I'm going to blend my brown and white. And I create my beautiful, gorgeous sand. Now I'm going to need a little bit more paint because I need to I have a lot of space there. So now that my sand is nice, it's a nice sandy color I like, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my sponge and just flip it to the other side and just clean off my spatula. <laughs> Put it back in my water bottle, put my sand in. Start going at it. I'm going to make sure I get the edges when so pulling out the color. Need to come again. Do the same to the other side. And it looks like I'm going to need more paint, which is okay. So make sure that you have your brown and white handy mm. so you can. Add more paint to your palette. I'm adding a little white to kind of just make it a little bit lighter. Now, I'm actually doing streaks, pulling it. I'm not tapping, not yet. I just want to really get. And beautiful. And since I'm running out of my brown, I'm going to put my 
I sponge aside, clean my hands. I'm going to grab some more brown. And more white. And blend my colors. Perfect. So I'm put this. We're gonna turn around <laughs> and use the turquoise side. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some white in our turquoise, and we're gonna tap. Four. I'm gonna get some white, get some a little bit of turquoise. Let's get some white in there, and you're just going to do that. You're already making your shore, your shore wave. Perfect. You could just add extra streaks to make your ocean look like it's moving. So go ahead, get the rest of your white. You're gonna need a little bit of white for your alien, so we'll add some more white to my paint palette, but if you need more white, go ahead and add it to your paint palette. Go ahead and there we go. So there's our Ocean wave. Perfect. All right. So now what we're going to do next is our palm tree and sun. So we're going to put our little sponge aside and So what we're going to do is we're going to set our brush aside and I'm going to go ahead and grab my, my flat brush. So what I want to do is I'm going to use and give it texture, kind of like a crisscross. And then we'll add brown later on. We're going to let it dry just a little bit. So now we're going to grab our brown brush and we're going to add palm leaves to our, our trunk of our tropical palm tree. So go ahead, just do a lot of flex. And this is going to go really fast. So if you need to put pause for it. Circular coconuts. We'll do three little coconuts. All right. 
So for right now, we're going to take a break from our palm tree. I said break, but I keep going. That sometimes happens. All right, kids. We're going to take a break and we'll come back to it. We're going to rinse our brush. Make sure it's nice and clean because we're going to get started on our alien. Yes. Okay. So this is where I'm actually going to take my liner brush number 10 and my alien is my first little alien well we're going to be creating um different little aliens uh i am first going to be creating my green little alien so i'm going to go ahead and dip my little my little brush and start so my little alien is going to have bunny ears <laughs> So here we go, let's get started. Okie dokie. It's going to overlap his first bunny ear. Mm -hmm. A little more green. And <clears throat> a second green bunny ear. And I'm going to give him like chipmunk cheeks. And a villain face. Now remember, it doesn't have to look like mine. So if you have something different in mind, go ahead and do it. This is your chance to shine and make your own little alien if you want. Beautiful. So here we go. I love it. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to add a little hands. I'm adding little round hands. I'm going to add details to my little alien, but those are his real little hands. And here we go. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to get a tiny bit of white a little bit of green and mix it. For some reason, I want its feet to be light green. See where I did that? I don't need a lot. So, Perfect. So these are his little feet. And so now I'm going to rinse my little brush. Now you want to make sure that your little brush is really cleaned off. So like I said in my other videos, I like to rub my brushes against the glass. So it's easier to take off the paint. So now what I am going to add are three eyes. My alien has three eyeballs. And he's got four white clothes. What do you guys think so far? I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip my already painted paintbrush with some yellow. I'm gonna add, I'm 
polka dots. All right, so now my alien has yellow polka dots. So I'm gonna rinse my paintbrush because I'm gonna add another color, rinse it off and dry it off. And I'm gonna dip my little paintbrush, just the tip, with some violet and I'm going to my eyes. Purple ones. Cool. So now that I'm done with my purple eyes, guess what I'm going to do? That's right. I'm going to give it a mouth. And I have a happy alien, so it's smiley. And I want it to have eyelashes. So it has a total of nine eyelashes. So that is my first little alien, but we're missing something. I think I want to add a tail. Yes. So I'm going to dip it into my green. And I'm going to add a little ring. Tail. There we go. And that's my first little alien. What do you guys think? I think it's cute. Okay, so now that I have my first little alien, I'm going to add the second alien. I'm super excited about this. So this one's going to be purple. Okay, so I'm going to Grab some purple paint. Here we go. And he's, I'm already naming him. He's gonna be a he or an it, whatever. He's gonna be tall. So I'm gonna start here. This is gonna be rectangular. So it's going to be a little different, so I'm going to create some eyes. It's going to be where his eyes go. Okay, and this is his head. And this is the top of his head. Now, I'm not filling it in just yet. Just kidding, just the top part here. There's a reason why I'm just doing the top part. Because this little alien got to the beach way sooner than my green alien. And he's gonna be wearing <laughs> some beach clothes. Say what? Yeah, he wants to really understand what it feels like to wear clothes because in his planet it's completely different okay so that's what I have so far it actually looks like a little dinosaur <laughs> um, but I'm actually going to add a shirt to it so I'll make sure that I have So I want my alien to have a red shirt. So this little guy, I want to create like a V. See how I did that? A nice little V, moving it down. This is part of the shirt. Keep it going, kids. You'll see exactly what I have in mind. All right, so this is the shirt, and we are going to Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip, now that I have an outline of my shirt, I'm going to grab some blue and some blue shorts. Now initially it'll look like a skirt. If you want your alien to have a skirt, that's quite all right. All right, so now that I have my outline, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse and make sure all the blue is gone. Because now we're gonna go back to violet. And so now what I wanna do is add his hand, his arms. So we're gonna paint his arms out. He is so happy that his little green alien friend is at the beach. We're gonna give him three fingers. Do a little round suction. Oh yes. Three fingers, yes, this this alien has got it going on. Three fingers, those little sections. That one needs a little rounder. Cool, all right. And now we're gonna add his legs. And he, he's also gonna have three toes with suctions on it. Kind of like a frog, right? <laughs> All right, so that's my alien's legs and feet, arms. Okie dokie. Now I'm gonna rinse. And for right now, I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna grab my, actually, I'm gonna grab my angular brush and dip it in the water, because it hasn't been used in a while, so it needs to soften up a bit. All right, now that it's movable, I'm gonna go ahead and get some red, and I'm gonna angle it in such a way that I can paint it down. All right, let's go ahead. Let's paint his Hawaiian shirt. Beautiful, look at that bright summer fun red shirt. We're gonna add flowers to the red shirt. And I think the colors we're gonna be using is yellow, so it pops. All right, so now that we've painted his shirt, we're gonna go ahead and rinse our little paintbrush. Yes, rub it and rinse it because we're going to dip into some blue paint. Let's get those sh shorts. All right, so I think I need a little more blue. All right, so he has his nice blue beach shorts. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and leave this brush in there for just a bit. And we're gonna add some buttons. So I'm gonna go ahead to my paint, my number liner brush, and add some buttons to his shirt. There we go. And now that we've added buttons, we're going to dip our paint. We're going to draw a nice black line 
middle. So it looks like shorts. All right, cool. Now that we're done with that, we definitely want to rinse out the black on our liner brush. So make sure that you rinse out in your water bottle the black. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do is dip my the tip with white. Just the tip and we're going to add his eyes. You want to push down. Perfecto. So now we're going to rinse our white and we're going to go back to black and do the same thing. But this time you want to make sure you just get a tiny bit on the tip. And then you're going to very lightly on the tip. There we go. Now we're going to add a smile because he is such a happy Good with your leader. <laughs> okay. So I am done with my alien here, but wait, there's more. We are going to make a little alien spaceship. So what I need is my spatula. So I'm going to put this aside because I'm going to definitely need this. I'm going to go clean my spatula. It's already dried up. So I'm going to get some white. We're gonna make gray. So we're gonna get a tiny bit of black, not too much, just a little. And we're gonna blend it. So if you don't know how to make colors, this is a good way to learn. So black and white makes the color gray. All right, so now that I have my gray, I wanna make sure that I get all the gray that I need. We're going to make a small alien spaceship. So I'm going to go dip it back here. Oops. Okay. So now I'm going to have a flying spaceship. So this little, this little friendly guy dropped off my little green alien. Okay, so here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going, and I make, I'm going to make a slanted one. <laughs> so I'm first with my gray making like kind of looks like a flat pancake or I would say a frisbee. Anybody? Has anyone played with the frisbee? I sure hope so. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to ma make we're going to make it thicker. I'm going to thicken the bottom part of the, of the ship. All right, so add a little bit more. All right, so now I'm going to add Kind of looks like an upside down hat. <laughs> All right, so here we go. And we're going to fill it in. Perfect, I think you can see this. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add I'm going to have it. Go ahead and fill it in. So what we're going to do, and you, as you can see, I'm dabbing. 
I am dabbing my paintbrush, adding a little dab. Fill it in. <clears throat> it's okay if it doesn't all fill in, so I'm gonna get a little bit white. I'm going to keep adding just a tiny little bit of white to just show a separation, right? And you'll see exactly what I'm trying to do here. So let's go ahead. We added some white and let's just add some gray over it. Just get a nice little streak. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add little dots all around. So I'm going to add yellow, blue, go ahead and take this to color and make up some red, perfect, turn that red off, add some blue, beautiful, look how great our little spaceship is turning out, a little bit of purple. Nice, right? Okay, let's take some color off. Let's go ahead and add some turquoise. Perfect. So we have a little spaceship, but there's no one inside. What to do? Well, guess what? This time we're going to add a little turquoise. A blue alien. Okay, and goodbye, friends. Now you want to make it really small, which is why you need to use your Maybe a little black. I'm saying bye. <laughs> so there's our little alien spacecraft saying goodbye to his friends. And one last thing, we are going to grab our brown brush, number four, and we're going to get some yellow. Let's go ahead and get some white. And blend it together and we're gonna go ahead and add the Sun all right get the brushes add loads of sunlight right Perfect. Okay, we have created our little alias. We're going to do one last thing. I'm going to grab our little um, little liner brush. We're going to grab some of, of this. You see, remember how I said I was going to go back to it? We're just going to add just little lines. And then... There we go. Just a little bit. 
So now what I want to do is I'm going to put my liner brush in the water, rinse it later. I'm going to grab my flat brush here. I'm going to grab some brown and um, and just do one more crisscross of brown. Doing like X's all the way down. Alright kids, I almost forgot one thing and that is the flowers. So go ahead, grab your number <laughs> your number 10 liner brush. And we're gonna grab some yellow, get some white, mix that around so it pops. A little more yellow. Right now I'm like twisting and turning my brush because I want it to be pointy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add little flowers. So I'm going to do like an X. I want to give them a nice summer look, right? All right, so now that we're done with our, we're gonna add one more thing. We're gonna rinse our brush really quick. I have too many brushes. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right there. Perfect, so now my brush is clean. I'm gonna dip it into a little bit of tiny black paint, just a tiny bit, and just add the black dot in the middle. It looks like a flower. Perfect. Now we're done. <laughs> okay, so here we go. All right, kids, you've completed your lovely masterpiece. If you had loads of fun and you learned a thing or two, go ahead click on the link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Art Time with Flory. So that way you get notifications on any of our upcoming art tutorials. All right, kids, I can't wait to see you next one. Keep cool.